still here on bat. Yeah, you guessed it. Recall strike number three. Um, quick review. Number one was jab, downward B. Number two was horizontal. Number three, we're going to explore the uppercut. Okay? All right. With the first two, you notice you can be really fast, and everything's kind of isolated right here. All right? And same thing with the horizontal. Now, when you start adding the uppercut, the idea that your stick is going to drop and then come up uses up time. So how do you disguise that? Well, utilizing angle and footwork is, is one way to do it. But in the beginning, what you're going to uh, first practice doing, obviously, um, the, the dummy doesn't have a chin, all right? So basically, you'll just be tapping if you're going for the face level. But the reason I like to use these targets is because I'm practicing my tip accuracy. I'm, I'm practicing putting my tip where I want to hit and, and versus swinging in the air. Swinging in the air is fine. There's a lot of benefit comes from it. Um, you know, like if I'm, if I'm using this as a target, I'm practicing all these things, I'm coming quite close to here. But the reason I like to hit something or hit a target is because the stick rebounds. It does, it does things that we don't think about. And unless you practice hitting things, you're not going to understand it. And then the first time you do hit something, it's going to be an eye opener for you, because um, it affects your timing and how you deal with it, and you need to deal with that, uh, because it's always different. And many times you miss when you when you're using a stick or you're sparring or whatever you're doing with it. But anyway, getting back to the to the tutorial, okay? When you're working the uppercut, right? I always like to start with the jab, like I explained. Jab, bang. Okay, now, you're going to recoil and you're going to snap it up. If you're going to the inside, the same thing. Now, when you start aiming for the lower target, you're going to have to open up a little bit. All right? So when I come here, when I come over this way to hit that, see, I'm jabbing, I'm angling out this way to hit it. When I come over this way to hit it. Utilizing footworks is just shifting off the Tony Chin to the right or left. You remember me explaining Tony Chin in the first tutorial where your alignment is Tony Chin. All right? Well, the same thing applies if you jab out and you shift over here, you go to Tony Chin, so you still have a spring to strike from. Plus, you can move your feet again. But when you do the uppercut, you'll notice your stick is going to drop out to the right or it's going to drop out to the left. So it's natural to step in those directions. I guess that's the point I'm trying to say. All right, so when you first start practicing it, okay, you, you can go to the bag in the beginning, okay, when you go here, but you're going to notice you're going to want to shift, okay, and that's good. That's what you want to do. We do it in boxing, too. We're going for the body punch, all right? Now, when you're practicing the hand target, okay, so when you start here, boom, shift here, hit here, and shift over this way and hit, okay? And you will miss from time to time. I do it all the time. What you want to practice doing, like I said, in hitting the target, is understanding the trajectory of the stick and what your wrist is doing. Because many times if we think about the tip or we start swinging the tip, it's going to arc instead of traveling a straight line, okay? But if you think about how your fist is traveling to the target, your accuracy improves, okay? And then remember, with these recoil strikes, the power's in the snap, okay? Anytime they come up, it's a, it's a snap. It's in and out. It's not like a full swing, okay? That's a different kind of impact. So think about that. You're trying to touch it like a jab, all right? So when you come out this way, boom, it shifts over here, boom, it shifts over here, boom, okay? Try to move your hand in a linear fashion. Don't swing the tip through like an arc, all right? That's probably the hardest thing to learn how to do, is to, is, is to strike in that fashion, okay? Now, I practice going to the head, I practice going to the hand, I also practice going to the knee. The cool thing about the knee is, yes, you can hit it on the side, okay? But the effective area is right on the kneecap. So that's in front. So when you practice here, for instance, if I come jab and I shift over here, right? Now, if I'm going to hit this knee over here, 
I can bump this way and hook up. All right? Or if I come this way, I shift out this way first. Okay? I can bump this way and strike out this way. And that leaves me out here. Okay? Notice I'm staying out. It's very difficult to hurt the knee when you're swinging to the side of it. it it can take a lot of punishment that way, but when you, if you're going to hit the knee, you want to hit the knee cap. That's where you're going to do damage. And in order to do that, your stick has to come straight on, or almost straight on, okay? So, so remember that. When you come here, you shift here. Now, if I, I can go down here like this with a double on this side, but we're trying to practice the right and left side of center line, or transitioning right and left side. So when you're here, here, yes, you can do this again if you want. But if you want to practice bumping, step off here and come up. The camera see that? Yeah. All right? So that's the whole idea. All right? So when you're here, here, you shift, boom, bump, hit, bang. Come right up there. You're trying to hit the front of the cap. And these angles are interesting, and they're fun, especially when you're sparring or you're working on utilizing as, as an improvised weapon. And we do want to hit the knees. We do want to hit the elbows. We do want to hit the hands. This is how you shut function down, their ability to step and wield the weapon. Okay? So elbows, in this case, will be the side of the back. So if I come here, the side of the back, pow, I hit it here. Now, if I'm going to hit the front of the knee, I can move this way. And it's the same backhand twice, right? Or the same thing on this side. I come over here, I hit the elbow, and I can move this way and hit the knee. So this is where it gets different with the uppercut strike. When you're opening up and you're hitting the knee and you're hitting the hand or you're hitting the elbow, okay? Because if you're trying to come up the middle all the time, it's tough to do, unless it's a full strike. You know, if you strike up here, boom, it comes straight up, right? Come here, it comes straight up. Full strikes are easier to come up the middle. The broken strike or the recoil strike is tougher because you're, you're reaching out, you're hitting it, and you're coming back, all right? So that's why utilizing the angles helps a lot. So remember, to the head, you practice here, you go up, to the head, to the hand, to the knee. Remember, you want to practice shifting. Okay, so now when you're going to multiple targets, you come here, you go to the elbow, boom, come to the knee, here. Go here, go to the elbow, knee, pow, okay? These are the things that you want to practice doing, just like when you box, all right? So that's a little bit different when you're practicing the uppercut, all right? That, that's one of the things I just wanted to talk about with the uppercut. It's a lot of fun. And, of course, you can bounce around using the footwork, too, when you're doing the number one and number two. Remember, number three is the uppercut. Because basically what we're doing is we're taking a center line target, all right? Call it the hands. The first is angling down towards the hands. The second ones are angling in towards the hands. The third ones are angling up towards the hands, okay? And then number four and five are different versions of abanico, or fanning strike, or flips. Okay? But we'll touch on that next time. Okay. Quick review. To the head, jab, up, up. Or to the inside, to the outside. To the hand, outside, inside. Okay? To the knee, outside, inside. Or mix it up. Here, now, this way. Here, this way. Okay? So you're practicing those various angles. And remember, to have balance when you're bumping, go to Tony Chin. Don't go past it. Don't, don't hurt your knee. You put too much pressure on your knee, you can't spring up. Okay? All right. 818-987-1760. Have any questions? BillyBoston at gmail.com. Feel free to send me a message that way, too. All right? You can also follow me on YouTube if you want to see a bunch of other stuff I've done. And then back on Facebook, there's other boxing tutorials, all kind of things. Anyway, um... I want to say a note about the shooting in Vegas. It's very, very sad. I hope the powers that be that run this country start thinking about here and here, not so much about this. I just, that's my two cents. I think that's where things need to go. People need to start giving a shit more. It's getting terrible out there. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. And yet this guy that did this was a multimillionaire. Go figure. It seems to be what everybody's after is money. I don't, I don't understand. Anyway, take care. Next time, it'll be number four. Again, those will be more of the Abanico style of striking. 
And number five is downward abanico. All right, thank you very much. Take care.